for anyone who's wondering, I have not forgot uh, my refit enterprise, just taking a bit of a break. Um, because the truth is, I'm very scared. I am very scared of this. Well, I'm not scared of the wiring. Actually, surprisingly, I'm not scared of the wiring. I'm quite okay with the wiring. Oh, also the way I made this, it's the whole harness is removable so that I can uh, I can add another coat of uh, oops, that earlier. <sighs> Sorry about that. I've been doing a lot of cutting of wood down here. Um, I need to add another uh, layer of uh, paint block and then some more white. Anyway, what I'm afraid of is moving the bridge forward. I'm just afraid I'm going to screw it up. Although I don't know what I'm so worried about because I still have a second saucer and a second bridge, but <sighs> I'll get to it and uh, detail the, uh, the process. Now, I don't know if I... I don't recall if I showed this. I redid the wiring for the hangar deck to uh, clean it up a little bit. So I've got all my positives on one side. Everything's looped around and over. And all my grounds on the other side. And it just made for a much cleaner uh, cleaner setup. And um, you know, some of you have already seen inside here, but I'll, uh, I think this will, be the, this will be the first time on video. And, uh, yeah, this is actually a more accurate representation of what she looks like in there. So I think I'm going to turn the light off and give her another go. Alright, so here she is with the lights off. Well, I mean the, uh, the lights in my workbench room off. Um, I'm very, very happy with the turnout. I was hoping to get more white light in the, uh, in the uh, service elevator area, but... Uh, Eh, it is what it is, and um, but there'll be plenty of light coming in to uh, to highlight you know shuttles and crew and whatnot. So I've been working on the Enterprise pretty hardcore at the refit Enterprise and uh, making some good progress. Um, done a bit of work with spotlights. Um, got the wiring harness in and secure, uh, filled and primed. I don't know if you can see it here. Let's see if that'll focus. I filled those seams and re-etched the uh, grid lines on all the uh, on all the seams. Bit of a hassle, but um, I think worth it in the end. As for this side, I did the light boxes, and um, hmm, so I lied. I will be doing a couple edits, and this is one of them. <coughs> anyway, I made the light boxes for the uh, lower saucer uh, cabin lights. But uh, turns out I won't need to install any LEDs because there's enough light bouncing around inside there to uh, to illuminate illuminate those nicely. Um, I did do the LEDs for the Ford Spotlight. I'm only doing the Ford Spotlight. Now I should make it clear mine will not be as good as Gerberon's because um, I just don't have that much patience and um, I'm not ready to live up to the. Uh, I can't meet the bar that he's set just yet, but uh, it's something to work toward, and um, I'll get there. But uh, with this one, I just want to get it get it together. So I'm gonna turn off the light, and uh, hopefully the spotlight will uh, will show up. Unfortunately, my iPhone camera isn't great, but um, we'll see if we can get something here. So as you can see, we are getting a spot, and it actually is casting down to here. Um, it looks way better in person. Um, I've actually got coverage from here to about here. So I won't do the whole registry, but it'll be, uh, it'll be decent. It'll be decent. I'm, I'll be satisfied with it. Now on the, uh, on the lower saucer, um, because I'm able to get so much coverage, it'll be a lot broader. Um, but like I said, I'm not going to do too much more of it, and I'm not going to do the, I'm not going to do the back one to cover the Enterprise. I'm just focusing on the Ford registries. Everything else will just be cast light that goes, goes out and about. So like I said, the front will have a pretty broad, broad sweep, and here, here, and here will just be ambient light. No spotlights there. <laughs> 